Hey y'all, we're coming at you from AJ Farms. We're inside the big red barn again. And I wanted to share with you what I was doing today to hopefully inspire y'all all to get busy and uh, get your preps together. But uh, let me spin this camera around and I'll show you what I'm doing. Today, we're cutting insulation. This is R10 two inch insulation that we are cutting into 14 and a half to 14 and a quarter inch strips because um, we're putting it underneath the house is what we're doing in between our floor joists. Um, I tell you, when we built our house, uh, we built it in 2019, I think. I don't know, all my time runs together. We either started it in July 2019 or started it in July 2020. I don't remember. Might have been 2020. Anyways, uh, we spent, we, when we moved in it, it was right before Snowmageddon. It was about a week or two before that storm hit and it was cold. So I have made it a point to get my big butt underneath the house and insulate it. So this is what we're insulating with and that's what we're doing. So y'all come along with me today and I'll show you what I'm doing and how I'm doing it. Pray for me. So we're underneath the house. We just built this house. It's a couple years old. Uh, we got in it as soon as uh, Snowmageddon happened. Let's turn this camera around. Oh, that's a better view, ain't it? So as you can tell above us, we didn't insulate. This was our first house on blocks. And so, uh, well, I had never lived in one, so I didn't know how cold it was going to get. And lo and behold, the Almighty allowed us to get in our house right as Snowmageddon happened. And we had below zero weather blowing underneath the house. But you know, cold is cold. It don't matter if it's 30 degrees or 30 below. You're just cold. <laughs> You can't tell that it's it's a little colder here than it is there. Uh, anyhow, that's what we're doing today. We're insulating under the house. Let me spin this camera around and I'll show you what kind of insulation we're using and how we're doing it. Okay, so we're using two inch foam insulation. No, you good people, I don't have the money like some of y'all to get out there and hire me somebody to blow insulation underneath my house. I buy it in four by eight sheets and do it myself. Um, but anyhow, there he is. So you got an R10 value. That's it. But you know R10 is better than nothing. And who knows, Lord willing, we might get us a little money sometime and uh, we'll insulate a little more. But there you have it. So you can't blow it out no more than that. That's uh, 14 and a half is what that insulation is. So your joists are 16 inch centers. We put this, we cut this insulation with a skill saw at 14 and a half, and that's where we're at. Sometimes you gotta trim it a little more in places to uh, get it fit a little tighter. There's another one. I've been working on it. This one right here, I gotta finish hanging. I'm putting in this one too, and this one too, but you see how tight that is? There's nothing supporting it but friction right now. Same thing with that one. But I'm gonna take two by fours or two by threes, like this block right here, and I, I ripped them and I cut them down. And then we're gonna come in here like that. We'll put it in here like this and we'll shoot it with a nail gun. And that's what we're doing. That's how we're hanging this insulation. That's what we're doing today on the farm. We're underneath this house insulating while it's warm and we feel like doing it. So I'm gonna encourage y'all to get your preps together and get your maintenance done on your houses and get everything put back for this winter. It's gonna be a cold one. Uh, remember to always thank the Almighty for your blessings. He's blessing us each and every day, even if it's just for a body like mine to get underneath this house and underneath these floor joists and not bump your head, right? My belly's not big enough to stop me from sliding underneath this beam like that. So, y'all be sure and go to church tomorrow. Thank the good Lord for your blessings. He's blessing us each and every day, and we'll catch y'all next time. Get out of here! So, from 2011 to today, we now have the same exact argument being presented for maps. Minor attractive person.